Hey folks, Nick Corbertson here with another audio kit tutorial for ya. And this is gonna be a fun one and easy. It's gonna be equal parts fun and easy. This is how to add audio effects in Audio Kit 5. Let's get started. First, let's download the develop branch of the Audio Kit Cookbook once again, like we did in the How to Create an Instrument app for iOS video. If you haven't checked that out yet, I'll put a link down in the description. Open the cookbook in Xcode and navigate to the Instrument EXS file. So this is a bare bones implementation of making a MIDI sampler instrument in Audio Kit, but we want to add some effects. In my opinion, one of the main reasons to use Audio Kit is for the mini audio effects. Not mini. Many. You'll see in a second how you can add reverb, distortion, delay, etc. in just a few lines of code. Let's start by adding some reverb to our instrument. All we need to do is create a variable for our reverb and attach it to our input chain. You could use a mixer node to mix together multiple inputs, but we're just going to feed the instrument directly into the reverb and the reverb directly into the engine's output. You could think of the instrument as being like a guitar that we're plugging into a reverb pedal and then that reverb pedal is going into the amp. Let's select a simulator and build our project and see how it sounds. And now we have reverb. To see which variables we can change, right click the reverb and jump to definition. Here you can see we have a dry wet mix variable and a load factory preset method. So let's try setting our dry wet mix, loading a factory preset, and build it once again to hear how that sounds. Here I'm using the plate reverb preset. Next, we want to add some user controls to our reverb. There are a number of ways to do this, but I'm going to use one of the reusable components from the cookbook, the parameter slider. We'll add that element just above our keyboard and fill in the values to point to our reverb's dry wet mix. Great, so this is working, but it isn't changing the percentage value. This is because we need to add an at publish to our variable to have it update the UI when the value is changed. In other recipes from the cookbook, you'll see more complex examples of wrapping this data into a struct, which is probably a good idea as you scale your app up, but it functionally works the same as we have it here. Hit play one last time, and here is our audio kit instrument with the reverb effect and controls. And that's it. Next, what you should do is go through all the different effects and try adding them to your audio, just like a, a buffet of effects for your audio, and see which flavors you like from the Shoney's Audio Buffet. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.